live the life I sing about in my song, How Artists Make and Live Lives of Meaning, is a book that's going to examine the historical trajectory of artists who have really blurred the boundary between art and life. The title for the book comes from the title of a gospel song. I really love that the song sets up this idea that your everyday life is actually the foundation for how you are in the world and what you project to others. The book is going to culminate in a series of interviews with artists I feel have not only carried on that legacy, but have really succeeded in eliminating that perceived boundary between art and life. Mira Laterman Eucles is a seminal figure in performance art, feminist art, and I believe in the history of socially engaged art practices. In 1969, she wrote her manifesto for maintenance art that declared that all of the work that she did in her daily life was considered art. I chose Fritz Haig because he's an artist who has really been investigating the political potential of the domestic sphere. David Horvitz is an artist who has used social media quite a lot in his work. One of the things that I love the most about David is how much his work is rooted in friendship. Ben Kinmont is an artist who's been exploring not only financial systems of support, but also living a meaningful life with his family. Mildred Lane is a complexity, and that is to use the language of J. Morgan Pewitt. It is her home, and it's also a site that considers the relationship between contemporary art and rural America. A lot of these artists look at the domestic sphere as a source of real power, potency, and political potential. There really is no other text right now that's looking at this larger artistic impetus towards bringing art and life together. Change happens in really small ways, and that often starts at the core of your everyday life. It isn't about providing some kind of roadmap or a guide for us all to follow, but just looking at the fact that there are a lot of possibilities.